Dang, Uncanny, that was fast. Thank you very much for being first. Hell yeah. Cheers. Uh, welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming, everybody. We're here, we're live. We're playing Mist, a classic from 93 or something like that. I don't know. I played this back when I was a small little child. I was only born in 92, so when this came out, I was one. Um, maybe. Maybe only so many months. Anyway, I played this at my grandma's when I was growing up. It was really mysterious. Um, the atmosphere was really great. I never figured out what the hell was going on because I was probably like six. So I never beat it back in the day. Now they've remade it uh, sometime last year. And it is free on Game Pass. So we're going to check it out today. Uh, so far, uh, I've seen little clips and trailers. It looks pretty great. So we're going to give it a shot. I'm told it's not that long of a game. So we might be able to beat that this week. Just like we did with The Forgotten City. So if it's your first time joining us, uh, strap in. Have a good time. And uh, why don't you drop a like, drop a follow if you're on YouTube. Drop a like and subscribe. I see there's a lot more people checking out the YouTube lately. Uh, and there's tons of great content on there. We got shorts we're posting all the time in every full stream. So check it out. Let's get to it. I agree with you, Uncanny. Time for some classics. When I played this back in the day, um, it was literally just a single frame and you would just hit front, left, right, or back. And it would just move from frame to frame to frame. And it was really weird. I played it just a second before the stream to see if it was still like that. Because if it wasn't, I wasn't gonna play it. But it's not, so it's pretty cool. Not be destroyed as I, I, I don't think this intro was there the back in the day. That starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. If it was, I don't remember. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my mission Cheers, by the way. are unsettling to me. Thank you for the like and the uh, shares, Uncanny. Never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Well, I don't have legs, so it can't be a person. No problem, my man. Um. Have you ever played this one before, Uncanny? Just on the small island, there was all these things that looked like clues, but I never could figure out what the hell to do as a kid. Never? Whoa, that's weird. On my uh, stream platform, your name went from Spanish to Sanskrit. Never seen that before. But it's normal over here on Facebook, so. Well, it's a classic. It's a classic that was loved so much that, oh, man. What would that be? 28 years? 28 years later, they already made it. Mine has been doing that a lot lately. Do you use Streamlabs OBS? Because mine's been doing that for like weeks to months, but I just don't care enough to change it because it doesn't really screw with anything. Yes? Ah, okay. I feel like that's the best one. That's what I was told by the people when I started, so that's why I learned to use. Yeah, I don't care enough to change it. Say, I, you know what? It works. And the thing is, is I think both of us, you and me, we do way more than some of the really big time guys. Like, I was watching a guy the other day. He's got like 15 to 30 people watching him all the time. By the way, I noticed there was a bunch of big time guys um, in the genres that we like to play who literally always have their game set to Resident Evil Village. And they're never playing Resident Evil Village. But that's what they have it set to every single day. And I just, it makes me wonder if that's intentional because it works or what. I didn't ask, but I thought it was the strangest thing. I just noticed multiple guys. One guy had like 80 to 100 people watching him all the times. And the point I was making is these guys have like next to nothing. 
on their streams. They have like them. So you don't really need to change it because how much more could you do? There's a kabazillion, kabazillion, kazillion. I'll just say kazillion. Buttons around here. They don't seem to do much. I've seen people doing that. I've heard many excuses of why they have it like that. Accidental commercial view attractions. Ah. So it is a good thing to some extent, and some claim accident. Oh, did I done fuck it up? Well, that's interesting. I didn't know all that. I guess I don't really care, but it makes me, like, question if I should be doing that, if people way more successful than me are doing it. And I'm sitting here changing it to what it actually is so people know the games. I feel foolish. I should put Apex in it and be playing Ori. See, you could. Always put on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So what do you suppose is the most popular thing on Facebook? I'd say it's still gotta be like Warzone. I still see people going crazy over that game. But the PSI ain't any higher. I'm just so confused. Nothing makes sense. This is why I couldn't beat this game back in the day. I thought I'd be smarter now. This is borderline getting shameful. Was that supposed to be a Rey Mysterio number code? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see that. I thought... Okay. I watched him when I was a little kid. Wasn't he 619? How's going? I don't know. They're, uh, what do you call those? And it's been a while since I've done math stuff. Variable, not variables. Um, I don't know. 369, so it's the... They all fit in three. I don't know. 619. Oh, either way, you were once a fan. I was. I liked him. And I've always been a fan of the underdog, whoever that is. He was always the smallest guy out there. No one likes the person who always wins. Well, some people do. That's just tacky. Holy shit, it's a real book.
There's no way. What? We're expected to sit here and read all of that? No way. Oh, they had Ray and Lesnar be a tag team for tag matches. And good lord, what is this game? I don't know. Bring him pages. On it, master. I don't know, dude. I feel like that would be something I would do in, like, the PS2 was the bring the smackdown game this reminds me of labyrinth with that dude the long white hair or some page master stuff I don't know what's happening it just feels weird. Alright. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to try to do this without reading those books at all. Hey, Levon. Thank you very much for the like. Cheers. What the? What the what is right? I'm completely lost. And I did something along the lines of this as a little kid. Of course, I never got anywhere. 240, 221. Okay, okay. So the clock. I'm going to have to write this down. There's no way I'm going to remember this. There was the clock out there. We can change that to 240. And that's safe. 2, 2, 1. We can try that. See if that's what this plaque is implying. And you play this when you're 6? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot more confusing back then. They've literally somehow made it better. But by four, before, it was literally still frames. Like, nothing moved. There was no clouds moving. The water didn't move. There was the sound. I just want to see if this changes things. And if so, how much? I'm gonna go and make something. To eat. This game makes me think too much. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm already starting to feel that. October 11th, 1984, 10.04 a.m. January 17th, 1207, 5.46 a.m. November 23, 97, 91, 6.57 p.m. 
Ai, que volta. Yeah. I don't have a lot of hope for me to beat this. I will use a guide. <laughs> All right, let's just take down the clues so we don't have to come back and look. November 23rd. Seven ninety one six fifty seven PM. Five forty six AM and ten O four. Odd. Okay. I feel a little intimidated by this game early on. It can only get better, right? Maybe. Whoa. 59 volts. The water still doesn't move, now that I'm noticing that. It's just such an ominous game. October 11 84 10 What this is telling me. So is the whole point just to raise this boat? I must say I'm quite confused.
Maybe achievements offer clues as well. No way! Oh my god. Alright. So they definitely do not. Do I have them mixed up? I do. Don't I? No mystery that a good beer can't solve. the fuck mate Hey, last clue, 59 volts. Whatever that means. Nothing makes sense so far. Now, why it powered this one up before, but then it burnt it out, and now it won't charge up, I don't understand. Probably because this is only on one. That makes sense. Why didn't anyone tell me? Ding, 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 dong.
Yeah. What did I do? Okay. I still get a point of this endless tree. This seems to relate to the tree. some way based on the picture Nickel Fritz. Now that I have supposedly the right amount of voltage. Oh, Hatton? Kill me, there's a kajillion symbols. Such a strange game. A red page. Serious. Your greed sickens me. You deserve uh, your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax. And you know they listen to me. 
Regards, Ekinar. Rich man. This is crazy. Oh, John, what's happening? Thank you for the like. Cheers, good to see you back uh, checking us out here. Cheers. Oh, crikey, am I really stuck here? Fuck nuggets. I'm borderline two things. Quitting and looking at a guide. Someone once told me they didn't understand how anyone could ever beat this game without a guide. It was a pretty intelligent person. Very good at games. I feel like I am those things too. This game. Just kind of something funny about it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm super not entertained by this game. Because it is such a difficult thing, it's not like an easy oh just like 
Here's a bunch of shit. There's no one around. No one's gonna talk to you. No one's gonna help you out. Let's just look at the general hints and tips. It's pretty straightforward. You freely move around with thumbsticks and your and blah blah blah. You may need to drag for certain switches or buttons. Don't miss the letter on the rock heading from the dock to the library. Read everything you find and make notes of diagrams on a few occasions. Something you learn in one age will make another age easier to figure out. What is the goal? I have no clue what's going on. Even the guide looks <sighs> just confusing. I I quit. I don't want to play that game anymore. Not that fun. Pretty uninteresting. But what should we play instead? This seems like another game similar that's pretty interesting. I think it's just you and your like whole family's dead and you're I don't know. It sounded interesting, but maybe it's not. Straight up just uninstalling that shit. Uninstall that game. Forgotten City will uninstall that to you. Just want to do one thing. I figured out what the first ending was. Uh, if anyone's watching today from yesterday's stream. And that was just to... And it, it makes so much sense. You want to create a paradox. Um, just kill Sentius. The guy who literally creates the portal and goes back through time or time. Just kill him. That creates the paradox and sends you out. If you don't care about freeing everybody else. So Halo's the fall back here. Evil Genius 2. We might just do that tomorrow.
Oh shit. There's five days left? Wait. Oh. 23rd through 29th, six days, six days, and then six days. That's only 18 days. Or well, seven days, maybe. Third, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So this would amount to 21. So this is the furthest you could get. I hope they keep bringing this back randomly. I'd like to get the base armor at least. Hey, William, thank you for the shares. Appreciate you. Whoa. Oh, my God. Fiesta. Double kills in Fiesta. Okay, well, that's interesting. What happened to the wall I put up? back-to-back -back swords for that guy? No! Ah. That was tough. Getting progressively more real. Cover me. Boys are out. Shields are down. We left another one to that sniper. 
Hey, Sadie, what's going on? Thank you for the fifty stars. Oh, that same son of a. Cheers. That was unfortunate. Say what up with you? What's happening? Enemy halfway to victory. The tomfoolery going on here. Cheers. What's the point of those shields? What's the point, I ask you? They have swords. They have rocket launchers. I got sentinel beams. I got this garbage. I should have hit him twice. Got garbage again compared to what other people are getting. Why am I not getting any real power weapons? I at once send a shot once. Getting El Facto. Okay. What could anyone on our team have done if my whole team was getting fed pistol and mangler uh, like I was? I mean, I was getting shit like that, just normal guns or uh, relatively ineffective garbage. The whole game, they're getting fucking swords and hammers, rocket launchers, and all the cinder shots. Like, what didn't they get in that game? I tell you what, we didn't get basically everything. That is hot garbage. I don't like it. Oh, this guy's all jacked up. Okay, I'm gonna get legit weapons this whole game. Ugh.
Oh, come on. There's a teammate between me and him. All right, all right. These weapons. I'm starting to feel it. That's a challenge complete. Oh! I saw that thing slung on his shoulder and I was like, ew. It's about to be bad. All right. All right, I'm... I'm pretty pumped with the weapons I'm getting this time. He was really gonna mangle punch me. Rude as hell. Oh! Can't believe I did that. Yeah, that was scary. That dude's cleaning house. I heard that go off, I knew he was close. I didn't know where. Cheers. Every person that's seen me with a rocket launcher has killed me. I sense a pattern. Hey, Brianna, what's going on? Thank you for the like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cheers.
Oh. I think I had him. Ah! That'll teach you to look away. Now he's got my sword. Huh. Don't know how I feel about that. It was a better game at least. I actually got fed better weapons, so no really, uh, no excuse. So now I've got to equip this on every gun. That way people know when they die from me. Even though everyone has this. Oh shit, I got two so I can catch up. Is that like a game per day? I don't really know how this works. Earn a double kill in Fiesta PvP. I did that. Back to kicking names and taking ass. That's right. Absolutely right. Fiesta PvP. It's gotta be this, and I've already done that. All right, battle rifle and such stuff. Sadie, thank you for the other 50 stars. Cheers. Appreciate you. Honestly, I thought you left. Ah, <sighs> well, uncanny, sir. I think uh, I'll be back doing some Resident Evil next week. I'm feeling it. I'm in the mood between the movie and everything else. There it is. I had to close out Facebook. Nothing was posting. Oh, weird. So you were trying to do comments and nothing would come through? Hmm. I wonder if that's internet connection or something? Damn, what did I miss? Uh, I played Mist. For about the first 40-50 minutes, misspelled M-Y-S-T. It was a game from 1993 on the PC. You're on this weird, eerie island with a bunch of random puzzles, but there's literally no clues besides books. And I mean, like, whole books. There's, like, 30, 40, 50 pages in these goddamn books. And they're all, like, written out in some weird cursive. It's hard to read. <sighs> the clues don't make much sense. Started doing it, I got transported to another island. More clues didn't make sense. I was just so lost. They remade it for 2021, where it was like this and you could move around and it was first person. It still felt really lackluster. And I kind of looked up the ending and it was like nothing. It was terrible. Absolutely garbage. So I came back here. Shameful. You never heard? What about the other game you were playing? That was it. I was playing Mist and now I'm here. Oh, you mean yesterday? Yesterday I was playing a little gem called The Forgotten City. Yeah, the Golden Statue game. Uh, that was called The Forgotten City. It was a game that came out in 2021. Three developers made it over the course of four years. So, like, massive props to them because it is one of the best games I could say I've ever played. Like, 8 out of 10. Maybe 9 out of 10. It was amazing. 
Missed me. Oh! Oh my god, where they keep coming from? They're so playing that today. I played it the last two days and I did almost all the endings yesterday. I was on for an obnoxious amount of time trying to do all the endings. Uh, I was on to like an extra hour and a half yesterday trying to do them all. And then they ended up taking a lot of time. So I just stopped because I still had to work. Uh, they're all on YouTube. Check them out. Actually, for me, they've got a decent amount of views. You work. The YouTube uh, link is right here. Actually, you can probably just watch them on Facebook. I think Facebook keeps them for like 30 or 60 days. All the full streams, and then Facebook just auto deletes them. But, great game. Amazing. Like, you go in, um, you wake up, getting pulled on the shore. Kayla, thank you for the like. Cheers. I cheers at probably the worst possible time. You wake up on this uh, riverbank, somebody pulled you out of there, and you have no idea what's going on. You just get told their friend Al went in the woods, or in this cave nearby. Cave is actually some ancient Roman ruins. You fall through and you find this uh, shrine for a god. And it takes you back in time, 2,000 years. And all you know is that there's a golden rule, which basically says if you do something morally wrong, that uh, everyone there will have to suffer and turn to gold. But every time you do... Sam, thank you for the like and the shares. Cheers, cheers. But every time you do the magistrate of the town we'll say some magic voodoo words open up the portal and you can go back in time through the portal and start the day over again so you'll repeat the day over and over and over and over and over every time someone makes a mistake kind of like that tom cruise movie the day after tomorrow or whatever that one was super good concept absolutely loved it and uh every time you go back in time everybody starts fresh but there's completely new, uh, oh, thank you, thank you for the 50 stars. Completely new dialogue options based on how you know, what you know about how the day is going to play out. Um, and missions you or your quests or whatever you've already completed. As you complete that stuff, the first guy you talk to, you can just tell him, all right, quick. Before this person dies, you need to go bring this to them. And do this and this and this and this so you can fast forward through it. There's multiple endings, which was super cool. Rocket launcher, son of a bitch. Yep, I saw that part. But now I'm going to have to look. You have to. You have to. I gotta say, The Forgotten City is probably one of my favorite games I played, at least in 2022, but it's one of my probably top five games I've ever played. High praise. Holy shit. Oh, they got me. And the possible endings are great. I mean, the twists, I never saw coming in that game. I had no clue what was going to happen would happen. Everything completely took me by surprise. And it was one of those, like, oh, shit, kind of moments a lot, you know? It was fantastic. Sentinel beam successfully deployed. 
The only thing that would make me give it a higher grade is if, like, the animations were more perfected or the graphics were a little higher. But you know what? Three people did it. If you completely take into question that it's only three people, it's not a AAA game and all that, it's a 10. It's a 10. shot there and it wasn't long either I beat it in two days uh, with my original ending I f I guess I really didn't know what was the best ending what was the worst like you really don't know how anything's gonna play out Sometimes you just roll with it. You don't know when the ending's coming. Damn, good play. So, it was just great. You know, a lot of the characters I started to really like after a while. The dialogue, there's a lot of dialogue. But that's kind of the point. I made a mistake um so yeah highly recommend check that game out and it never felt confusing either like there wasn't really any times where I was like what the hell am I doing what am I supposed to do what does the game want And there's a few parts early on, but you kind of just know. Almost out of ammo, Sparky. You know that at some point the game's going to explain it and it's all going to make sense. These Fiesta games have not gone swimming. I'm just shaking off the rust. Complete two Fiesta matches. And battle rifle. Okay, we can do that. Got this whole sheet of clues I wrote down from playing Mist for that 50 minutes. It's awful. The game is truly awful. There's so much intrigue, but after a little bit of time, it just feels maddening. So I went from one of the best games I've ever played with The Forgotten City. Um, the last two days to playing Miss today, and it just felt like one of the worst games I've ever played. I'm sure there's others that would disagree, but man, not a recommend. It seems like um, for Mist, it would be a game purely for people who played it back in 1993, and not for anyone after that. Which explains why it's free on Game Pass. Forgotten City, I think that's on Game Pass purely because three people made it. One of them, who's a lawyer, apparently left 
um, his law firm and his cushy job and all that so he could go and make this and do something he loved and fill his dream. So, like, there's some passion put into that one. And I just think between three people who probably didn't have a lot of money. That, uh... They probably didn't have a lot of money to market it. So putting it free on Game Pass. Probably one of the best things they could have done. But they deserve some money. hoping he just had his guard down just a little bit just enough nope oh come on Turning that tight corner and seeing that bright blue sword coming right at your face. It's no bueno. I'll say that's really good reaction time by him. He flipped the script on me. right then. Hey, Sadie, thank you for the pitch. Oh! Sars. Eee! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Got sniped in the back of the head. I was about to get a sword fight. What the? Cheers, by the way. Uh, of course, you got a hammer. Dub Murph and Turf. AFK for food is a hilarious name. Cheers. I'll cheers again. Cheers. Natterdays? No, this is camouflaged bush light. So well camouflaged, you can't even tell what it is. <laughs> yes! Thank you, buddy. Everyone was down there! <laughs> I feel like I'm making a lot of bad decisions. Uh, 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 our teammate just went that way! He was perfectly- oh, he fell down the chute. Yes, you son of a bitch! <sighs> Better than Adder Days or worse? Worse. Definitely worse. No! It's, uh, 
It's beer. It just tastes like beer. It's an acquired taste. It's bush light. I don't know if I said that out loud yet. Or if I was just being cryptic. If I was being cryptic, I'm sorry. Um... It's, you know, around here they call it bush country because a lot of people buy it. It's a cheaper beer. Just generic and you get 30 of them. I hate that gun with the passion of a thousand cinder shots. I can't stand it. <laughs> Yucky, never mind. No thanks. Yeah, it's just They change up the cans a lot, which is really cool um, During late summer, it's looks like corn um, In the fall they used to do a different kind of fish each year one year it was Salmon and then it was like some I don't remember or I think maybe there was multiple kinds there was uh, deer and like leaves on it once sometimes it's camo and then there's the like three or four months of the year it's just a regular blue that's what's really cool about it that's what the draw is is the different can designs now if you are um used to the flavor of beer because there's an acquired taste for sure it's pretty tasty but if you haven't acquired the taste for beer, then yeah, I don't think I ever had a bush anything. <laughs> That's right. There is one um, one kind you might be interested in called Bush Apple. It's an apple beer, not like an apple cider, the hard ciders or whatever. Not even while in the military. That's fair. You know, you would think this would be like the beer of choice in the military, if not Bud Light, just because it's what's marketed the most. Giovanni, good to see you again. Thank you for the like. See, what did you drink in the military then? Okay, let's see if I can get my old aim back. Son of a bitch. I swear I used to be good. I swear I got it back. <laughs> when this game first came out, I was a killer with this damn gun. You don't believe me look back at my old YouTubes, but something happened and I kind of just fell apart. Get rid of the shit. All it takes is breathing. Whoa! Swank McThick hilarious. Um, I drank hard liquor. No beer unless Guinness in my car crash drink. Oh. Guinness. Guinness! I have Guinness. Maybe. And I preface it with a hard maybe on St. Patrick's Day. Or... In the rare occasion, usually on St. Patrick's Day, someone were to buy me an Irish car bomb. Because guess what? I ain't buying it. No Boom! No scope! I like hard liquor. I got a bottle of Tito's right over there. It's a lot of mixed Captain Cokes or shots of whatever that somebody was buying. <laughs> See? 
But somebody else buys the shot, it's not so bad. Oh! Fuck. Red Bull and Strawberry Vodka was my drink for a long time. When I first turned 21, I went down to the bars. I was one of the younger... Uh, a group... There's like 16, 20 of us. We had a huge group. That would all migrate down to the bars together. We'd start at this dive bar. Um, that literally we took up half the bar. You know, kind of walked in, we took over the place, played darts, and everyone always drank vodka Red Bulls. So I followed suit with that. They were really, really good. And after a long day of school and work, you kind of needed something to keep you awake through the whole night. So vodka Red Bulls was the thing. And we usually didn't get vodka. Usually it was, what, monster or something. You'd say Vodka Red Bull, you'd get Monster. And I drank that until I woke up because my heart was beating so hard. And I said, no more energy drinks. That was the morning I cut it off. So I have maybe had like two of those ever since. And not in the same night. And then with my uh, allergy, as you well know, to things like Southern Comfort, because we believe there's nuts in it, I'm going to get an allergy test in February. So more information incoming. Um, there's also nuts are an ingredient in Coca-Cola. Which is my mixed drink of choice. So now I'm not allowed to drink uh, Coca Cola. So now I gotta drink Sprite and bourbon, or Sprite and vodka, or vodka and lemonade. My options have become very limited as of late until I know more. And it's a real shame. Wow, did I tell you there's a warning on those monsters? And I drank three within eight hours one night. I didn't sleep for three days. Holy shit, three days? Why not seven and seven? I don't know, it's not bad. I, uh, I guess I'm just not crazy about them. So, never had them. You know what? Bourbons and Sprite aren't bad. Sprite's pretty good. So I've been doing that, and beer on occasion. On occasion, I don't like a lot of beer, so I maybe have a couple here and there on the streams. Um, if only because carbonated drinks really not good for your tummy I'm trying to re reduce my tummy size a little bit so Sprite I mean Sprite's a carbonated drink so it's probably not good either so like best option for me for sure has been vodka lemonade it's delicious you taste nothing but lemonade and it gets you where you want to be Seagram 7 and 7 Up was my first drink. My dad made it for me. Holy shit. For me, the night I got beat up and ended up in the ER. Holy shit. That's a story. Got beat up? I don't think I've ever gotten... Well, I got attacked one time, but it was more my buddy than me. When I was coming home from the bars, we were, what, 22 or 23, maybe? 
walking down the street, and then there uh, we were walking past like a frat house or something. Some frat boys were saying they didn't think my buddy could drink a uh, whole beer. And he was like, what are you, fucking nuts? I'll chuck a whole beer right now. You have one? No. Then what are we arguing about? <laughs> and that, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> and uh, while we were doing that, some guy came out of nowhere walking down the street. Uh, eyes looked dead to the world. You know, completely glossed over. Dude had to been all kinds of fucked up. And just uh, haymakered my buddy out of nowhere. Well, as soon as that happened, all the frat boys came off their porch and came and pulled him back. Some girl who was with them came and pulled us away. And it ended pretty quick, but that was the closest thing. We never saw that guy in our lives. Had no idea what happened. That was, it was crazy. And there had been emails that we had gotten at the school that there was a string of things like that that had been happening lately over the past few years. So definitely didn't feel super safe. But you know, four years and that's the only thing that happened. Didn't feel super unsafe. It was weird. Enemies hurt. We gotta pull this back, it's gotta be a win. I've had seven sevens, they're not bad. Con. What it is? All right, free for all. Here we go. Don't want to do this either. Not really, my ex up to my best friend. And he blamed me because I was working nights stocking shelves after he told me in his room, of course, I wanted to leave. Oh, shit. He wouldn't let me. He threw me against the wall, drug me across the floor, tried to choke me out. My pants got pulled off because I lost a lot of weight to join the military. So he strong armed me. I finally got door open and so I ran jumped to my car jumped to my car called my mom because I thought he was trying to kill me she was a 911 dispatcher at the time she said meet her at the ER good thing because adrenaline worn off and I was hurting holy shit you know I've heard similar stories that's really messed up I don't know what possesses people to do that no call for it especially in that situation you did nothing wrong Active camo inbound. oh I'm fucked Hmm. Just can't understand people like that. I'm sorry to hear that, Sadie. 
Cheers to you. Being a trooper, going through that. I don't know, but it ruined me for a long time. Lost my boyfriend, my best friend, wrote them letters. And mom took me to give, uh, took me to give them to them. Oh, yeah, I suppose. You don't really want to do that by yourself. And you're in the military. So, like, you can't see them. Honestly, I don't know that I'd want to talk to any of them. But you're young. You don't know really what happened. Confusing. I became a cop in the Navy because of that. Uh oh. Active camo. Be able to Found. stop people who were like that. I mean, that's a good idea. It makes sense. Same guy, just bullying him at this point. This is before I left, but I tell you what, made it a lot easier to say bye to everyone. That's true. Huh. You think people were... Angry that you were leaving, maybe? That's why they acted out in such a strange way. X7 sniper. Available. People do strange things for strange reasons. Sometimes it doesn't even make sense. You know what? I've seen... In the, I don't know. They're kind of funny. But... I can definitely see real people actually doing it. It's like... Uh, Jealous girlfriend would smash her boyfriend's car window or something. And you get all pissed off. And it's like, why'd you do that? Because you cheated. I didn't cheat on you. You cheated on me in my dream. <laughs> He's like, what? I can see people doing shit like that. Like I said, bizarre reasons. But people do bizarre things. Oh, I lost him. So how old were you when you went in the military? Were you just fresh out of high school, 18? Yeah, people get mad period at a dream for sure. I for sure felt that. I've woken up and been like, what? <laughs> just out of the pure hilarity of it, I've never actually met. But dreams do create real emotions, and it's weird. When you have a super strong and vivid dream, how that can happen. I've woken up mad at people for just a second or two and been like, oh wait, that wasn't real. That happened when I was 18, I left for the Navy one month after my 19th birthday. Oh wow. So did you know that you were going to go in the military before high school and you were just getting ready? I had a couple of buddies who had it predetermined that they were going to go in the military. So they were doing PT with recruiters for like a year after high school. Fuck. 
I just need to get that last shot off. I knew I wanted to when I was 16, but my weight wasn't a shoot. Oh, okay. Is that like a prereq or something? Like, they won't take you unless you fit a certain size? So I have to use my whole 18th year losing rate. I can imagine that was a tough year. Oh, interesting. Hmm. What if you gain that weight while in the military? I'm assuming that would be really hard to do. But. Holy shit! Would you get kicked out? Oh my god. He pushed me away, that son of a bitch. I like to ask all the hypothetical, completely impossible questions. I did though, and they put you on the Fathom program, FEP, Fitness Enhancement program. Oh, geez. So, what, you're just working out way more than everyone else or something? Because that sounds brutal. And if you fail your fitness test three times, you gone? Oh, is that just... Okay. So, is that just a discharge? There's no way that could be, like, a dishonorable. Because some of that's, like, kind of medical and genetic, like. Some of it's kind of hard to help. Instead of just, uh, at night after work, you also do it before work. Oh. Damn, so they really punish you for it. Hmm. I just learned there was the different kinds of discharges. Like, uh... Because I learned... I didn't know there was like a, just like a plain discharge... You know, because in the movies you only hear about honorable or dishonorable. But then I heard, like, if people in the military weren't vaccinated, they would just get discharged. But it wouldn't go against their record or whatever. Plain discharge, okay. I think it's not honorable, it's just discharge. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. I guess I have heard of people having, like, bad mental illness and getting discharged for that. I'm just learning about all these other ways. So I guess it's a way out, if you want it out. I think I've heard of that in the Marines or something, because they have such a incredibly tight fitness program you gotta fit into. Where if you didn't make that They would uh, send you a packing. Faking mental illness as well. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of that. All branches have something like OT. 
I don't know. Okay. Huh. The only thing that would count against you is Dishonorable. Dishonorable is like straight up just running away. Which, you know what? You go back to like... I don't know how far you'd have to go back. Probably like Vietnam. And there probably wasn't anything for mental illness and wait. They probably wouldn't let you out. They'd probably just work you harder. Probably only been in the last 10, 15, 20 years where you probably got those opportunities to get out for those reasons. I would assume. Because, like, didn't they, in, like, the last five or ten years, like, drill sergeants were super famous because of movies, um, and people were in the military for just screaming at you and breaking you down and killing your ego and destroying you mentally and all this. But... They, like, can't do that kind of shit to a person's psyche anymore, right? Yep, well, and reoccurring issues, drugs, alcohol, being arrested for fighting. Oh, that makes sense. You would think... I don't know... I don't know exactly, but you would think some of those things might be dishonorable, right? Like... To some degree, outside of the mental part, you can control the drugs and alcohol. I mean, they are addictive, for sure. The fighting you can definitely control, unless you have some serious issues. And if that's the case... keep you in the field just don't fight with your brothers in arms out there the whole thing was break you down so they can build you back up better supposedly supposedly can you imagine the amount of people before they acknowledged mental illness that they just broke down I think that was the clip right there Mohan, what's happening, brother? How are you doing? What was the time on that? I haven't had a clip in two days. I did have to put up a clip. Um, what day was that? Monday, I put up a short... Instagram Reel, YouTube. Um, what's the other one? Instagram Reel. Of that game, Forgotten City, when you explain what a meme is to people 2,000 years ago. You're explaining, I think, specifically the Karen meme. What being a Karen is. It was really funny. Now they don't, oh, hold on. Now they don't like, uh, don't pick on me card in boot camp and timeout cards. Oh, they started all after I left because mental and stable situations. Yeah, they must have had some uh, issues. They finally got me. I was like up 11. I saw that part of your game. I think you were there watching that. Yeah, it was... It was really funny. I laughed so hard through the whole thing. Energy sword acquired. Get to slashing. I couldn't help it. Make it 
I mean, we're really sitting here explaining Karen memes. What's a Karen? This one you call Karen. <laughs> they were just saying such funny stuff. I mean... How could you not? Oh, there's a grapple shot. Oh, okay. They get away. And the other thing is that game had a lot of humor. Like, they talk about living through a pandemic and... All kinds of stuff. You have your flashlight, and they're just like, Oh, the light of Apollo! And all kinds of shit. I mean, that game is just so good. It was just so good. There's only like 10 characters. It feels a little overwhelming in your first hour or two in the game. But... After you fully explore the map, it's not bad. I'll do that. Um, but me, I learn maps and layouts. I feel like a lot easier than other people I've noticed like uh, I've watched other people play games and then really struggle to learn maps or where rooms are what door leads to what and all that stuff comes pretty quickly to me or even if I sometimes I'll start to head in a direction and I'll go oh wait no that's not it and I'll remember two steps into it and turn around so that game i learned the map and the layout very quickly where everything was i never had to go oh how did i how do i get there how do i do that so that helped a lot so while it's not a huge map there's a lot of very special and particular things there was goose eggs I picked up I turned them gold later and had golden goose eggs and never use those so there's a lot of little things that I never figured out that I think if somebody else was playing on a clean slate didn't know what to do hadn't watched a streamer or anybody else do it I think it'd be interesting to see what they would do with their journey I should have known. I should have known you saw me. Cheers. So foolish of me to go in there again. Okay, then. You got me there. You got me there. Oh, oh, 
And also, I gotta say, there's some people that are just shitty in that game, some people that are pretty good-hearted or whatever in the Forgotten City. But you can absolutely fuck with the people who are shitty in the best ways. Like, at one point, I won't say too much, but a guy screws you over really bad. And when you go and pass your time, he has no clue who you are after you screwed you over. I hadn't even swung the hammer yet. Huh? Alright, it's kind of fair. Actually, I get it. But I don't like it. That noise of dying to that center shot kills me. Yeah, <laughs> I just I can't stand it. Oh, this has to be without a doubt the worst map I've ever played on. And yes, I did steal that whole line from Pirates of the Caribbean. There's two in that tunnel. That guy wasn't showing up. Corner boys. So I think of you, corner boy. What'd you say to me? Nuggets. My challenge was to kill somebody while aiming down sights with a sniper rifle. Well, it's really hard to do on a map that's 10 feet long. I should not have pushed him away. 
I was trying to fuck up a shot and I just timed it so bad. I'm not good with the repulsive. TBH. LOL. LOL. Down into the shallow water we go. To die somehow. Alright, did a little mediocre there. Couldn't get one. Couldn't get one. That was a pain in the tuchus. So I've noticed doing these specific challenges gets you the armor. So if I get these other couple assists, or it gets you moving up through here, I'll get this thing. So there's a set amount of challenges likely hidden in here one two three four five so i can get five more that explains how this works so there's the three different events if you get all 10 challenges in all three events you'll get everything for this armor set okay that makes sense i thought it was like the christmas one where you had to play per day Which having a different format keeps it interesting but it's definitely more confusing Especially when they assume that everyone's played through the first one and knows how it works. I have no clue. Cheers. I really got shafted on the weapons here. You want the shittiest two pistols in the game? Well, here you go. What the what? That's how I use a hammer. That's how I use a hammer. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Why would you spawn me? Two seconds later, spawn three of them behind me. Where's the justice, 343? Burn. 
the old walk in the room and get hit by a rocket, I suppose. The gift from the heavens. Let me guess. Now they're behind me. Ouch. I just can't get the sniper kill on these small ass maps with everybody looking at me. I sure can get sniped by everybody else. I just can't seem to snipe people. Because everyone's fucking looking at me. Miraculously. See you, little boy. I swear you take like three streams, three or four streams off of the damn game. Start getting your butt whooped by the people who never quit. Oh, hell no. Fuck this. I'm out. And there's somebody else. He had a goddamn hammer and a rocket launcher. And I had no shields. There's no beating that. That's a joke. How does that miss? Uh. 
I needed that, but it's probably better with it, I guess, on this particular map. You better hope he is. Hopefully I got some assists out of that. I don't think I got a lot of kills. Well, last beer of the night. Cheers. Kill 50. Well, as long as I don't play like that last game. Jesus Christ, this may be my worst game I've ever done. they do more chances as they get bored and uncreative to uh, finish this armor set. So, you know, Apex and, um, well, particularly Apex, but I'm sure there's other games that said that things were limited time only. You'll never get a chance at these guns again. That for sure wasn't true. Those skins came back hard. They came back for sale. Or they were easier to get. God, that was luck. That was luck. Hard skill. Panic skill. Bebop. Boy, oh boy, don't I love that cinder shot. It's amazing for everyone but me.
I knew he was. Ah! You know when, like, you're following a guy, suddenly there's two guys, and you don't quite know who to aim at? I had a case of that real bad. Damn it! I just need to get close enough to do the one hit punch. Mauler punch. Headshot too? God damn. These guys. Somewhere between incredible and sus. Sorry, I do want this, but I also want this. I botched that hook shot. Just kidding, it's all you, it's all you. How's he pulling it off? They don't miss. They don't miss. And it's entirely frustrating. Because there's something not right about it. Like, that? That, no. No way. I mean, it's possible. But come on! The chance of them doing it over and over and over and over and over and over like that? God, I'm getting wild. Jeez. Where's all the classic um, small team maps? Where's that big open desert one? And So 
So when I unlocked this, what they meant was just the basics. Not gonna lie, that's pretty legit. Oh, you can literally buy cooler armor for this. I don't lie, it's all pretty cool. Don't know. It's worth the money. Really, I prefer my own armor. I think it was just cool to have. All right, let's go. Got to get 50 kills. I want that big open desert map. I don't know why I'm only getting these small 10 by 10 foot maps. They're atrocious. They're the worst. I hate them. They all suck. Truthfully, I just suck at them. But I've noticed people don't tend to ever go off on those maps. Like, everyone's just kind of mediocre or getting completely trouts. There's only one of those two things happen on these tiny, tiny ass little maps. And I don't know what they're all called. And the maps are not showing. So Behemoth is awesome. I want Behemoth. I Bizarre's okay. Launch site is shit. Live fire shit. Recharge is great. And streets is okay. Just give me Behemoth. It hasn't happened once. They say it's on here, but it's not. It's a map I like. It's not a weapon combination I like. Stiletto Obi. Stiletto Obi. It's the same exact weapon combination. What the snickle fritz? Oh my god. Please tell me for the love of three lords that I'm not gonna trade every day. so dead he was dead for a long amount of time in first person shooters i mean jiminy cricket what do i have to okay i saw that light and i just ignored it it's out of the corner of my eye all right send a shot bitches Let's see if I can use it as well as everyone does to me. Sometimes I can. Whiplash. 
It's, it's a hard sometimes, though. Yeah, I know, I know. No one has to tell me that if I zoom in, it'll go exactly where I want it to. However... I don't think that's the best strategy to do at close range. But. That's kind of creepy being hung up on that wall with my head bobbing like that. Oh, the fuck, mate. timed it so well god damn it I just hate losing so much Why wouldn't there be a guy with a hammer right behind me? A hammer. Okay, that ought to end that challenge. For the love of God, please end that challenge. Knew they were coming. Enemy team nearing victory. They are shredding our assholes. Teammates aren't doing a damn thing about it. I'm having a hard time myself. Every death, every death is like a little extra, a little extra tinge of pissed off. <laughs> Especially in this game, where they literally are... Once they win, they'll have double our kills. I'm told 15, we have two teammates with a combined 7 and 24 record. 7 and 25, that is some clown ass shit. Clown shit! How can you do anything when you've got two teammates who have been killed 17 times more than they've had kills? You have to look over your shoulder constantly. 
not just that, but across the room, in front of you, side to side. I mean, you have literally no backup. You got nothing. The only thing you're going to get is reach arounds from the enemy, and I don't like it. God bless America. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, fuck you. You send a shot, have an ass. I'll take that. Him all, son of a bitch. I didn't pay attention to what challenges I completed or what challenges I have. Yeah, I don't think I can see that anywhere. It's a shame. You should be able to see your challenges in game. That's like a huge improvement they can make. And it's not hard. It wouldn't cover that much of a UI. UI? You, you. Is it UI? I. It's him. It's not fatally. I think I got my swag bag. Just kidding. I'm still trash. No one else, no one else, all three of you over there, not one person is shooting at them. Not one. You bunch of fuckboy twat waffles. God bless America, that hammer is... Not up to the task. Thank you, Susan, for the like. Appreciate you. Ah. Uh. Oh my God! And I'm trash. Throw me in the dumpster.
Bud Lightbeer is a hilarious name. It's like Buzz Lightyear. I love it. That's hilarious. Cheers. Honor to die to someone so clever. Although I'm sure he didn't come up with it. He's at least the seventh guy. Oh, musky Panda. <sighs> Why me? <laughs> Everyone else is around. Ah, all right. Just have to accept that I'm the only target. And kill everybody. I'm getting tired of accepting this reality, but it is the reality. It's what we have to do. Here's my thing. Why is there even any other power besides the grapple shot? The grapple shot should be the only power up. There should be a grapple shots uh, only mode. Holy shit. Oh! I'm just trying to understand. I'm having quite the hard time. Oh god. Did I get the kill, yes. Was it worth it? Kind of. Finally, god damn. <laughs> There's been so many losses. Not all because of me, but some because of me. For sure. win a fiesta match of course they would make that a thing now okay i'm gonna do this Okay. This is going to be a good game. I'm going to wipe the floor with these people. And get the win. I have double the kills to deaths.
hit that. Damn it. I had a quarter second to do the lunge. I was gone. I just spawned, you fuck! Three, four, three, what the fuck are you doing? Why'd you put a spawn in the middle of the map? There should be like line of sight blockers. If somebody is looking in that line of sight, Maybe, maybe we don't spawn him there. I don't know. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe I'm not a game developer. Maybe I just have good ideas. I don't know. Trund. Trund the Great. Trundle. Name was dumb as hell. Trundle, I'm coming after you. Fuck! Cheers.
you. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Oh, God, he's got a hammer. We got that kill. All right, that's good. I think one more match I could get one or two of those done. I need four kills and a win. Four kills and a win. Doable. It's doable. We can do this. Ugh. Hopefully they put us on the game eventually, sometime today. Okay, we're in. Allegedly. Cheers. Pulled up the stream real quick just to make sure I didn't miss any likes or any of that. And the freeze frame of the stream is me going like this. <laughs> like, yeah, that about sums up my time on Halo here. I'd say he's neutralized.
No! I saw that light, <laughs> the red dot behind me. Last second. Beat out of nowhere. He did. Condolences mark dispatch to enemy family. Three feet away? The likelihood of that is so low. How come everyone gets souls but me, I eh? Also, how did he know I was up there? I wasn't making noise, it wasn't a dot. Nickelfritz. Ah! Pink mist successfully deployed. One grapple shot's all I need.
easily just had to stand there until I was right in front of his face. What the fuck? I got totally lost. Disoriented. Victory! I got more than four kills. God, I was negative in all but like three games tonight. Terrible. Terrible. That is what it is. Cheers. Now I gotta win two more Fiesta matches. And I got complete four. Okay. Just get one shoulder blade. Other people are up to heal. And then in February, anyone else can get up to heal. Oh, that looks cool. I kind of like the antlers. I don't know why. Well. Well, that was a good stream. I had fun. Um, gave up on Mist. That game kind of sucked really bad. It was really uninteresting. It was just kind of weird. I don't know. I assume I could have got through it eventually, but it would have taken a lot of time. I would have been just mind boggled the whole time without like someone guiding me or looking at a guide. I was told it's pretty much the old one was next to impossible without a guide uh, by other people who were really smart. So I quit that one. I thought it was going to be better. It wasn't because I played the old one back from 93 so played that when i was like six so it would have been like 98 or something uh late 90s early 2000s it's a cool mysterious game but there's like two brothers stuck in a book and you decide to help one of them or something i don't know it's it's really crazy um really just a game for puzzle geeks and trust me i love a good puzzle and people with way too much time to try to figure that shit out there's no real helpful guide in the game or anything. That game sucked. So I just straight up uninstalled it. Don't like it. We will not be playing Myst again. Now I came back to Halo here. We had a couple good games and a lot of bad ones. A lot of frustration here. But I still had fun. I'm just glad that there's the event going on. If there wasn't the event, I don't know that I would play it again tomorrow. But probably for the event, I'll play it again tomorrow. Just try to do all the challenges. See what's going on after that. See what everyone else has been playing. Rocket League, Battlefield, Smite. The same old games the last four to five, eight years. <laughs> so that's funny. Okay, well, anyway. Thank everybody for showing up. Actually, I think we got a lot of support in tonight. It seemed to do pretty well. Um... So thank you, William, for the like and share. Uh, Uncanny for the like and share. Levon for the like. John for the like. Um, let's see here. Sadie for the like. Share the 200 stars. Appreciate you. Thank you, Brianna, for the like. Kayla for the like. Samuel Anderson for the like and the share. Giovanni, thank you for the like. Mohan, thank you for the like. And Susan for the like. Appreciate you guys. You guys are all awesome. Everyone is great. Um, my poll glitched again tonight, so I don't know who voted for what. I uh, I can't show you what the answer is. It says it's active. It showed me nothing. Sometimes that happens. Fortunately, Facebook's not perfect uh, quite yet, so we're working on it. Oh, they're working on it. I'm, I'm I have nothing to do with it. 
Uh, so the question was, which of these is the biggest island in the Caribbean by size? Is it Cuba, Nevis, Antigua, or Jamaica? Uh, I've never heard of Nevis, Nevis, whatever that is. I've heard of Antigua, but I don't couldn't put it on on a map. Jamaica's pretty big, not the biggest. It's Cuba. I almost wondered if like the Dominican Republic was, but I mean, I don't know. Because isn't that island split between two countries, technically, or something? I don't know. It's been a while since I looked. Anyway, the answer is Cuba. So we'll do maybe some island trivia or something. Because Mist, Mist the game was on an island, so I was going to do that. That was going to be the theme. Island trivia. And then we quit the game and uninstalled it in 50 minutes. So might do that again tomorrow. I don't know. There's not really much of a theme going on here. So, again, it was a fun time, kind of. I mean, I'm glad you guys all showed up, showed out, came out, chatted, um, and supported in whatever way you could, so that was pretty great. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time, per the huge Thursday, wrap it up. I don't know what we're playing, and I think next week, I'm going to do another run through of Resident Evil. Resident Evil always seems to do extremely well for me as far as views getting new people i've gotten some of my best followers um through resident evil i haven't seen a lot of them in a while so i wonder if they'll come back while i'm playing resident evil if i do go through this it's going to be one two or zero one two three four five definitely not doing six seven um eight code veronica revelations maybe revelations too so it'll be like a two or three month spree so if we start this train we're not getting off of it for a while so if there's anything else anyone's seen in here that they want me to play and it's something i can kind of go yeah i play that too that you guys have seen feel free to shout it out i mean i've got plenty of other games so if you say it and it's on xbox i probably have it if it's on Game Pass, definitely got it. Let me know and I'd look at it before I start the Resident Evil speed. Actually, let's just see what's on Game Pass quick before we get off here. Let's see what's been recently added. Gears 5, interesting. Gorogia, okay, that looks weird, not doing that. Eh. The Pedestrian. I can see the signs of my sleep now, always guiding me closer. What's really like, ha, what's really work? Have we almost achieved the impossible? All right, so I have no idea what's going on there. They didn't do a good job of making that game understandable. The gunk stars Ronnie, part of our duo of gritty space haulers struggling to make a buck as a chance upon an untouched planet bringing with life. They came in search of valuable resources, and it looks like they've hit the jackpot. That don't look too bad. Looks interesting, though. Lake. 1986, Meredith Weiss, Weiss takes a break from her career in the big city to deliver mail in her hometown. How will she experience two weeks in beautiful Providence Oaks with an iconic lake and a quirky community? And what will she do next? It's up to you. That sounds really weird. Firewatch is a single player first person mystery set in the Wyoming wilderness. Why do these games give you zero description? How do these descriptions make me want to play them? Paw Patrol, though, that's got my attention. Aliens Fire Team Elite. Could be interesting. How well is it rated? Three stars. There's no Aliens or Predators game that's ever been better than three stars. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. What a crock of shit. Let's see what else is in here.
So it was control. I haven't taken the time to go play. Out of the moth? Is the moth man in that game? Legendary monster conspiracy theory from, I don't know, somewhere in the east. GTA San Andreas. Oh my god. That would take me like a month to beat. I don't know if I ever beat it. Because back when I was in my childhood when I was playing that and I had significantly more free time, I definitely never beat it. Got close to the end, I think. But that is such a long game. Well, so far, nothing else really catches my eye. Holy shit. Yeah, pre-install that. Good to know that that's going to come out for free. Stalker 2 looks great. Doesn't come out to the end of April, I think is what it said, so... That's awesome. Superland? Is like a kid in the background? What's happening? Superland is the ultimate sandbox adventure and offers players a fresh take on puzzles, exploration, and adventure. I get why they say sandbox, because you're literally in a sandbox. Whoa, Tom Clancy's Extraction coming in 13 days. That could be fun. Maybe we should hold off on Resident Evil till that comes out. We'd only have to play something else for another week. I think the Resident Evil series is a good one to play when there's nothing coming out. So it's going to take like two months to get through it. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll play that Evil Genius 2 game next week. We'll just dawdle around with some different things. Maybe we'll start it tomorrow. I don't see any reason not to. It doesn't seem like it's a big story game. Control feels like a game that'll take like a week or two. 13 days. So when is that? 13 days. So... Two weeks from last Tuesday... So we'd have six streams between now and then. I don't know. That might be enough time to beat the whole of Control. Maybe it wouldn't be. So I don't know. We'll do Evil Genius 2 tomorrow. Maybe. Or Halo. Definitely got to do some Halo. I got to get those event stuff. Don't really have to, but I feel like I want to. So I don't know. That's uh, kind of the plan. It's up in the air. I have no idea what's happening. And that's how the stream ends. So thank you all again. Thanks for uh, doing the quiz poll question of the night. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for liking. Thanks for following, commenting, dropping stars, doing all the things. You guys are all great. Thank you guys on YouTube who stop by, take a chance to look at it. Um, tell your friends, share it, and drop your comments. Do all those great things. So I appreciate you guys as well over there. So we'll see you guys all next time tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. Stay fresh, cheese bags.